Hercules Gomez. Something, nothing, or everything. The Champions League final potentially coming to the United States. It's everything on all levels of hypocrisy. I mean, it, it, it smells of... There was a large crowd, large sector that wanted nothing to do with the Super League. But all of a sudden they're interested in watching this. Oh yeah, I'll watch Champions League in the States. I don't care what it means to Europeans. I don't care, I don't care that it's not from the States. Put it here! We want it here, we'll pay some money, right? How is this different than a Super Copa, a Super Cup in Saudi Arabia or, or, or anywhere else like that? Why is it that it's okay to want these things when it makes you money? What about, and I know you remember this, what is it? Two, three years ago, maybe four years ago, it was Getafe versus Barcelona and Relevant Sports wanted to bring it to Miami and La Liga wanted to bring it to Miami. Do you remember how U.S. soccer was against that? I, I, times change. Times change? I guess times change. The bottom dollar still runs it, mm -hmm. I guess, but I don't know. This is not something I'm into. Listen, will people watch this? Absolutely. Yeah. Will they pay money for it? Absolutely. Do I think it should happen? Absolutely not. Wow. Against bringing a big event to the United States, Herc. I did not think I would uh, hear that from you. To, to your point about the, the changing winds at the Federation, JT Batson, the CEO, uh, told Pablo Maurer of The Athletic that he was, you know, the Federation kind of open to at least an exploration of the idea. Now, that's not to say that everybody's going to be on board with this, Herc, because joining you in the anti-camp, potentially our friends at the CONCACAF, Headquarters. They told Felipe Cárdenas, also of The Athletic, that UEFA has told them there's no plans for it. Uh, and it sounds like they're maybe not exactly super excited about it. So um, I don't know what we're really, what we're really just, getting from this interview. I just don't want to be a hypocrite. Like, do you think it's do you I don't think, think it's this good? is the same thing as the Super League, no. Oh, hold on. No, Super Cup. Do you think it's, I mean, when you watch a Super Cup being played in Saudi Arabia or being played wherever it's played outside of Spain, do you like that? Or do you think it's just a cash grab? It's cash grab. I can see why they would do it beyond the money. Take your sport to another place, make more money there, you know, the marketing. There's, there's a lot of reasons why you would do this. And I think from an American perspective, you got to love it, Herc, because last show we talked about with the Women's World Cup potentially coming in 27, five straight years of major international tournaments. That's international. We didn't really talk about club. If you add this to not one, but multiple reported FIFA Club World Cups that could be coming to the States, the, um, the United States is now going to become the home of big event soccer for the next, like, five or six years if all this comes to pass. I mean, it, it already is every summer. I mean, just add it to the list. Teams are already playing now every, like, two, three days. It, listen, this is a cash grab. That's all it is. Ooh, Herc hates the cash grab. No, I just don't want to be a hypocrite. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.